Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to jump into something completely different in the music world of original music score for film and television, and that's how to do really easy dubstep. And for us over here at uh, Cinema Sound and Lem Media Productions, we actually take dubstep and put it with orchestra and create great sounds. But how, what's a really basic way of doing that and making it super easy and routing and all that? Let's check it out. All right, we're here in Logic Pro, where a lot of people do music for uh, film and television, like I do. And um, I, this is my orchestra template, but we're at the bottom of it where I do all the dubstep things. And I just want to kind of show you how I do what I do. Very simple. First, I bring up Break Tweaker from Isotope. And it has a lot of really cool capabilities to it. A lot of these cool loops that you can program and do a lot of fun things with. And I never use these things. Except for the individual sounds, which you can control on the keyboard. You can see I'm just triggering it here. And in particular, I use the bass drum and the snare drum from any of these patches. In this case, the kick and then the snare as well. Um, and they're pretty beefy, as you can tell. One of the other things that I do is I take the output of this bass drum and snare drum track. Actually, let me pull it up over here. And I do a side chain so that, let me bring this in here like this. Oh, I'm going to have to make it smaller. Well, that's all right. You'll get the idea. So that the entire uh, mix is cut with the side chaining. And I'm basically taking this bass drum channel, which the break tweaker's on, and I'm running it as a side chain into the C6 from Waves, which is here. And you're like, well, so what? Big deal. That's just, I don't, it's just compressing it. Well, what, the, what this is actually doing is taking the whole mix and, and cutting it every time the bass drum or the snare drum happens. And I'll show you why in a second that's important. All right, let's go up to one of my favorite things that I use for just simple adding of dubstep elements. And that's here from our friends. I'm using uh, Contact 5. Um, from our friends from 8DIO. And that is this. That's drum step. There's a bunch of volumes of it. Let's see here where I've got. It's also got its own little drums, which might be cool. But this is where it comes in really, really handy. And then you can change the pitch with these key switches down here. And then I've got it set up so that you can have a gate. And that's super cool because when I do, it's all, it's all mapped to tempo and I'm at uh, 74 here. All right, let's have a little, let's have a little fun here now that we got this all set up here. Let's turn the gates off, put them in normal. Here we go. And. Anyway, so you get that. We're going to quantize it to the 16th note, which is cool. Here we go. Let's see what we did here. We got a little out of sync. In fact, let's just make it eighth note because I wasn't that accurate. Cool. So that's cool. It's just a, you know, simple, can't be simpler groove. Now we're going to go back to break tweaker on our bass drum. Now I could use those if I wanted to, or <laughs> now I'm going to show you this mix 
and show you why having those side chains in there is so important. Watch what happens here. This is the side chain. Here, let's play. And you're like, wow, that really changes it. Because if I turn this off, watch what happens to the mix and the bass drum. And it totally cuts the whole bass part of the mix out and gives us infinite room and infinite thump for that bass drum to show up. So let's line it up and let's make it happen here. There you go. Cool. Now we've got a cool, massive groove thing happening, and the bass drums are being are kicking. They're cutting off as well as the snare drums. Anything else that we have going on that we don't like? Now we can go to another break a tweaker instance that has other cool things on there that we can drop in, like drop, like breakdowns, like this, and cool. So here we go. Cool. We'll quantize that. And then maybe we'll add one more selection of fun bits to this. And this is back to um, our 8DIO friends for a dubstep or a drum set. Yeah, let's do this. Here we go. Anyway, so you can change that pitch, and now you've got a whole new drama, which, of course, is everything that we want in the world of uh, film scoring and all that. From here, you know, we would just add all kinds of other things that we would need to, you know, crunchy bits and things. But this is the simplest and easy way to create dub step kinds of action. And then, of course, you'd have the rest of your template to add all the orchestra things and things like that. Hopefully this has been uh, useful and valuable to you. If so, please subscribe to our Cinema Sound page here, uh, channel rather, and, there's, and view the hundreds and hundreds of videos we have on music, effects, fixing, mixing, and everything else. And I invite you to come to our website, cinemasound.com, where we have hundreds and even more hundreds of hours of uh, video and blogs and everything like that. Uh, as well as the world's only fully comprehensive audio education for filmmakers and independent media creatives, uh, basically taking you everything from, I don't know, how to do audio for film all the way to professional Hollywood level 5.1 mixes and above. And uh, again, we invite you to cinemasound.com. And until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're